Hey, welcome to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be setting up the countdown as well as adding in the final polishes for the checkpoint system. So with that, let's get into it. So first, we're gonna start off in the Ray Splash widget. We're gonna add a vertical box, drag this over to the canvas panel, clear that, make the vertical box a little bigger and then change the anchor to the center of the screen and then move it over to the center as best you can. And then in the vertical box, we're gonna add a text block. And then the vertical box, we're gonna rename this to countdown. And we're gonna set it to is variable. And then the text block, we're gonna change it, align it to the center, and then set it from auto to fill for the size. And then change the text inside to just a three. And then bind it to the countdown variable in the player controller. Then we're going to change the font size to 100. And then with that, we're going to compile and save. And then in the sports car porn, we're going to go, no, sorry, not the sports car, the player controller. In the, with the countdown, we're going to change the default text from what it was, which was nothing. We're going to put a three. Then we're going to compile and save because we want to see if the widget is visible i'm gonna play and then we can see it, it is on screen everything is fine so now we're gonna go and make a couple more adjustments to it so the gonna make a couple adjustments to the widget the post race screen gonna head over to the behavior make sure it's hidden the race screen also gonna change this one's behavior set it to hidden make sure it's hidden the goals hidden and then the countdown change this one's visibility to visible so that we can see it when we need to see it compile and save and then in the player controller in the event begin play the top we're just gonna move the start and stop the start and start race and left time we're gonna move these over a bit and then we are going to drag in the race flash reference just hold control and drag this in and then we're going to search for the oh no before we do that we first have to set the countdown so under the text variables we're going to drag in the countdown hold alt and drag it in and then set the value to three and then connect it up and then we're gonna drag off from there and add a delay node. I'm gonna set the delay to one. And then just move these two out the way a bit. And then select the set and delay node. Control C, Control V. Connect them up. Change the set countdown from three to two. Control V again. Change it from three to one. So now it's set up like that. And then we're gonna add a final version of this and then connect that up and then change this from that from three to go. And then after that, we are then going to make use of these. So from the race flash reference, we're gonna drag off and then set the countdown Oh no, first we need to get the countdown. Get countdown and we're gonna set its visibility and the behavior to hidden. And then from the race splash reference, we're gonna drag off and then search for get race screen. And we're gonna set its visibility. to visible. And then the final one we're gonna drag off from the race splash reference, we're gonna get goals. And then the goals, we're also gonna set its visibility to visible. And then after that, we're gonna connect up the start race time and start lap times. So with that, we're gonna compile and save, see if this works. <coughs> the countdown goes and then 
it disappears in the red screen and it goes in here so that works as intended so now with that done we're gonna go back into the player controller so now with this done we're gonna scroll down to the bottom by the move garage custom event we're gonna take the delay nodes we're gonna select those move these over and then we're gonna drag in the race splash reference control drag it in and then we're gonna drag off from there and say get race screen and then this one we're gonna set the visibility again and then this time we're gonna set it to hidden we're gonna drag off from the race splash reference again and then say get goals and we're gonna set this one's visibility as well to hidden and then just move these two over a bit more because we still have one more part to do and then from the race splash reference again drag off for final time and then say get post race screen and then we will set this and say set visibility to visible so now with that everything is done set up gonna compile and save and then we're gonna play through the level quickly and see if everything works oh ah okay so it seems i forgot to connect the set visibility for the ray screen as well as the but to connect the bridge to two so that's why that happened but other than that it should work but now as you saw the vehicles ui is still visible so we need to change that real quick as well so in the event begin play just uh, just before the countdown we're gonna move everything over here gonna move everything over here over a bit and then we're gonna drag in the vehicle uid and then we're gonna say set visibility i'm gonna set it to hidden and then connect it up and then at the end just before the start of the lap and race times we're gonna drag in again and then we're gonna say set visibility i'm gonna set it to visible and then connect that okay and then in the last one here we also want to do the same i'm gonna drag everything over a bit drag in the vehicle uid drag off set visibility set it back to hidden and then connect everything up make sure everything is connected and do what i did compile and save and then if we start now, everything else but the countdown is, and then it pops up. And then at the end, the reverse should happen. So that's that. But now we have a problem in that the vehicle's input is still enabled while the countdown is happening. So to change that, we're gonna head over to the sports car porn. And in a available space somewhere, we're gonna create a new custom event. So I'm gonna say custom event. And this custom event, we're gonna call it input. Okay, sorry. Input, not in out. Input. And then we're gonna right click below that and say get player controller. And then from the player controller, we're gonna drag off and say disable input. And then we're gonna hold control and then drag it from the target pin to the player controller pin. 
and then connect everything else up. If you don't change the pins, then the input will still be recognized as enabled and it won't actually do anything. And then from the disable input, we're gonna drive off and add a delay node. And then we're gonna change the delay to the amount of seconds it takes for the countdown to happen. So in this case, it is four seconds. So here we're gonna change it to four. And then from the player controller again, we're gonna drag off and then say enable input. And then connect that up. And then hold control and change the pins connected to. And with that, a comment, say, disable slash enable input for race. And then over in the event begin play, find an empty spot. And then just drag off from the event begin play. And then add the custom event input. So that we compile, save. And then we're gonna go over to the other editor, play through, and if you flash errors, nothing's gonna happen until, and then that's it. So with that, the system is finished. The checkpoint mechanic is done. We might still add a couple extra things to the blueprint, but but those won't affect the checkpoint system itself in any way. But if you want to add, let's say an animation to your countdown, I'm gonna do that real quick. So if you go to the widget blueprint, select the text for the, it's gonna display the countdown you set to is variable and then you select it you go by the animations. If you don't see this here, it's usually because it's, if your screen looks like this, the animations tab is down here. Just click on it, it's gonna pop up and then you click here on dock in layout and then it's gonna dock itself. So with that, you click on your animation and then you rename it to whatever animation you want. In my case, it's gonna rename it to countdown animation because I want to animate the countdown. And then select it and then I'm gonna add a new track and then it's going to ask you what track you want to add and then you select the text block so with that with the text block selected we're going to go down to the behavior i actually want the behavior we want the part below the behavior the render transform we're going to go here by the scale so currently it sets one we're going to add a keyframe and then we're gonna go to one second later. And then we're gonna add another keyframe. I'm gonna make mine two to make it seem exaggerated. And then we're gonna add another keyframe. And then just select the vertical box. And then just scale this up a bit. Just to make sure that the text block stays within the confines of the vertical box. And then we're gonna compile and save and then we're gonna head over to the player controller and then in the player controller before the countdown happens so after the vehicle you hud is set to hidden you're gonna drag in the race splash reference hold control drag it in and then from here we drag off and then say get countdown animation from which was created we need to move everything up a bit so just drag everything drag over everything and then move it over and then from the countdown animation we're going to drag off and say play animation connect everything together and then from the race splash reference drag off and then connect that to the target if you don't do this, if you don't connect it like that, then the animation won't play. And let me just show what I mean by that. Just hold Alt and then I'm gonna compile. See, it says there's an error, so it's not even gonna recognize it. So once you connect that up, like so, and then you compile, and you save, and then everything is fine. And then from there, as you can see, 
the animation play, but it only played through once. So we're gonna go back into the player controller. And then here it says number loops to play. We're gonna change it to four because we need to play four times. Compile and save. And then we're gonna play through this. And then as you can see, it's not timed properly. So we need to go and fix that. Now you could fix here by the playback speed or you could go by the delay node, just change it to 1.3 and then compound and save that. And then you play through here and then it's adjusted. Now it's not always gonna be such thing. I only know this because I was play testing, so I already know what it's supposed to be. But most likely if you do this for something else, you probably have to play around with this number until you get the perfect number. But now, since we have adjusted the delay to 1.3, we need to go and change the delay in the sports cup one for the input as well. We need to add that 0.3. So in the delay by the input, change this to 4.3. So it lines up properly. Compile and save. And then if you play through the level, nothing happens. And then afterwards, everything is good. Everything fine. That is it for the for this video uh, until the next one